Hello, I'm the curator and this is today's item and as you can clearly see it has seen better days. This is a miniature slot machine created by Radica. Let me just see if it will focus there. Yep. 2001 Radica Games Limited Project Shape Trademark. The Flobahedron. Um, as I say, all rights reserved, rating, blah de blah battery. You only need batteries for the light on top that is flashed when you want. But it is, um, it works. Uh, it, uh, I've played it with it a lot, so it's <laughs> fallen apart a bit. Um, the only thing that works is the actual slot machine segment of it. Behind, uh, there was a panel here. Behind it was a, a little sort of area where you could fit two P's, one P's, five P's, ten P's, you know, a small change. And um, there's a little act spring activated thing that whenever you've got uh, sevens or bar or a combination of seven or bar, it would flip open and all the money would fall out. Or there's a little catch here that you can press if it gets jammed and the money just sort of slides out in that way. Uh, it was called the one arm bandit. It also operated as a regular money box. There was a little flap here. The batteries went there. That was just a pointless bit of plastic. Uh, like I said, there was a light here that lit up, and uh, it's a very nice thing. I got it for one year uh, with a couple of other things. I'm very pleased with it. Um, I'm pleased that the mechanism still works. But uh, I have a bit of a I'm a bit of a sucker for uh, casino games and such things like that. So when I can, I do want to do a couple of videos on a couple of other casino machines I, uh, that I have. I do believe uh, I have a sort of penny slider machine. If you don't know what I don't know what the proper name is, but I don't, if you don't know what one is, there's usually some in a like seaside arcades and stuff like that. You sort of drop two peas in, and sort of pushy shelve things. Sort of push the two peas down, and basically the goal was to push two peas in in a strategic fashion, so more two peas would fall out. It's a bit hard for me to explain, especially as I'm not very good at explaining things. But yeah, it's a, I enjoy it anyway. Uh, there's like little versions of roulette, little card games, dice games. I certainly want to do a video about dice games, but I certainly want to get more of these. I think they're a brilliant way for you to sort of deal with your spare change, because a lot of the time spare change is sort of regarded as just something that gets in the way. Um, you collect them up in big bottles or piggy banks or boxes and even in some supermarkets they have machines that transfer a small change into vouchers that you can use to pay for stuff taking a small fee of course otherwise they'd never make any money but this is an ingenious way oh, I'm sure you I think you can find them that's like one I saw was a bit more was a bit bigger and a bit more sophisticated than this and it sort of had hold buttons and other such things and different combinations and you know a big internal uh, money box so you could fit more money in and sort of pay itself out but as a starter thing goes I mean I love this I played the hell out of this otherwise it would still be in one piece um, it's uh, changed hands a lot of uh, some of the people I know have played with it as well um, to a fault and I'm quite surprised that the mechanism still works It does get stuck sometimes though. So, is it worth getting one? Most certainly. They're lovely little machines and they're, you know, as I said, they're quite interesting, quite effective ways to play around with your spare change or even sort of coin shaped tokens. They're nice as well. Um, another way I've, I've seen do it is a sort of little sort of chocolate dispenser, if I recall correctly. It was a was it a Nestle or a Cadbury's chocolate dispenser? It was a red tower shaped thing. You sort of put a penny in it, a sort of dispenser chocolate, but sadly, um, it didn't offer refills. So after you'd run out of those chocolates, you know, and spent, you know, however, like 12, 10 peas or however many it was, then that was it. Um, that is a sort of trouble with building things like this. But I'm definitely looking out for more of these because I. 
I really do enjoy playing with them. I I don't trust myself near a real casino um, for many reasons, but for now this will do, and it will do quite nicely. Um, yeah, I think that's all there is to be said. Bye-bye.